Welcome to Benjamin Zulu Show, the best show ever. This is where we speak things as they are. We don't sugarcoat. We call it as it is. And we want to talk about uh, why do working women want men to support them? And the first question is, is it an issue? Is there an issue for a woman who is working to have a man who is coming to support her? And as you talk about this issue, we are not talking about married women. We are talking about women who are not married. Zulu, why do these women want men to come and support them? Yet, they can support themselves. Th that conversation came when this lady said she got pregnant with this guy and then he jumped the ship. They always do. Mm -hmm. I don't know why women don't learn. Mm -hmm. Um... In fact, I was telling them that about eight over ten of single mothers were not planning to become single mothers. Mm -hmm. They just did not plan not to risk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they did not plan not to risk. <laughs> not to risk. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, some things in life catch you when you don't plan on the alternative. Just living your good life and your good intentions. Mm -hmm. If you live like that in life, you'll be an easy prey for the predators. Mm -hmm. Con men don't warn you that they are con. Yeah. They actually mimic mm -hmm. what you're looking for. You're looking mm -hmm. for land. In fact, there's a good land. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I hear nowadays they can produce another title deed, uh, uh, photocopy. Looks like it is original. You know? Yeah. And they tell you this is a photocopy after you pay, it will give you the original. But mm -hmm. they don't have the original one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just, they're already sold. But mm -hmm. because they remain in photocopies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they continue selling to other people. Mm -hmm. If the one who sold, did not take possession, like yeah. fencing or doing things. Yes. The one who bought, if you just buy and you are abroad, yeah. guys will continue selling it to other people using photocopies. Mm -hmm. And so what happens, in, she said, she, 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 this guy, they got kid, he, he fled. Then there came another one. Mm -hmm. Now they're dating. Remind these single ladies that many times after they, they get a child, they usually lower their standards their terms of inclusion, their, they, 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 their recruitment criteria is reduced so much just because they have a child. Mm -hmm. They succumb to this notion by society mm -hmm. that having a child makes you uh, well, less agreed, <laughs> less desirable, like a guy is doing you a favor. Mm -hmm. You know it because they keep talking this language. He accepted me together with my child. Mm -hmm. So she has reduced her criteria to being accepted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> almost being tolerated, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, as if she's viewed herself as a burden already. Mm. <laughs> and I told them, if it happens that you get a kid before you get married, pause and restructure your life. You can't continue as life was. If you don't pause and see how you got here, what happened? What does it teach you? Mm -hmm. Who are you now as a mother? This new position, even as a dad, even as, after you get a kid as a dad and tell men that although we don't become pregnant, doesn't show. Mm -hmm. Getting a kid is a real life changer. Whether you try to run away from it or not, you can't mm. run away from a human being. Yeah, you can't hide from a human being. Yes, <laughs> you can even be hidden. No, if a guy who got you ran away mm -hmm. today, you'll be able to show up somewhere. Yes, <laughs> and say, Hey, you're running away from me to identify who is my I wanted to know how I who are my people, who are my roots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and men notoriously get their identity from the side of their fathers. Ah. Your mother can marry another man after getting you, and the stepfather is loving. You feel the connection, and many people get satisfied with that. Mm -hmm. But many times, it's that urge to know <laughs> where are my roots? <laughs> where did they come from? You know? Yeah. Where is that guy? How come he doesn't think miss me? I mean, yeah. sometimes you see Obama coming all the way to some lowland, some place to see a grave, because the father's connection is very important. Mm -hmm. As much as I appreciate another guy who might have taken care of me, he has his place in my life. Mm -hmm. But the place of where I got my DNA does not get replaced. Mm -hmm. You as a man, you can't flee and say it's not me who breastfed or you think you can run away because physically you're not connected. Or At some point, you'll be caught up. And I was telling men, continue sleeping around thinking your freedom. Mm -hmm. And every time you get a kid, you have lost the caliber of women who just don't negotiate. They don't understand the situation they are baby mamas. The women who, they say, if you have a child, I don't judge you, but I don't want you. I, I just mean, I know what I want that you're not in that group. Mm -hmm. The other men who say, it's okay, lady, as a child is good, it's okay, I can accommodate. Others decide early. Mm -hmm. Me, the, what I've seen through my life, I would rather not. 
<laughs> and you can call them judgmental that's just preference yeah you decided to go that direction mm. <laughs> it's okay deal with it so we're saying she lowers her standards and then she's saying this man came and started he started support she started by saying i earn a decent income i earn fairly well so this lady yes she said i earn fairly well mm -hmm. and th now this guy came and he has been supporting whenever you hear that language mm -hmm is that maybe he's paying bills or bringing shopping or mm -hmm. and what is she giving back obviously women have nothing else to give when men invest in men they want their body the sex after don't that's not rocket science mm -hmm. <laughs> don't bother yes nobody invests when you're not nobody to their life if you're not my wife you're not my daughter why am i investing in your life mm -hmm. <laughs> life operates on give and take mm -hmm. and i was telling a person except charitable organizations that don't even get to meet you personally <laughs> They don't even know you. No. Uh, it's a cause they're furthering. Yes. And they send away, they send the money from wherever, abroad or wherever. Uh, and they help you, they pay the fees and you don't know who it was. <laughs> uh, uh, so we have charitable organizations that have no personal relations with you. Mm -hmm. Be careful with the personal sponsors. <laughs> personal sponsors. <laughs> Be careful with them. <laughs> when, they, when it's just you and them, they can exploit that position and they'll feel entitled. Some, some of them, they will come and say, no strings attached just to get you hooked if you are naive <laughs> enough uh -huh. if you are naive enough uh -huh. when people are sponsoring you and especially the opposite sex mm -hmm. you should see them maybe being both of them it's mm -hmm. a family mm -hmm. they're assisting you for, from a family perspective mm -hmm. but if the man comes behind to pay the, something for you just between the two my friend and as a wife no this is a family project yes. how are you being assisted yes. use your common sense don't be trapped sometimes they they pay something small then they buy your soul sometimes what you are you're calling sponsorship you're selling your soul really uh -huh. hmm? mm -hmm. let me marry you then i take you to college okay so school fees college plus the rest of my life being married to somebody what is that trade surely Usually these girls are usually too young to do that kind of mathematics mm -hmm. because she wanted school a lot. She mm -hmm. ends up agreeing. Mm -hmm. But later on, they usually jump ship. After this, she finishes school, she has grown, she realized, me, I don't want this. Mm -hmm. Either she runs away or she's too cowed and timid. Mm -hmm. She remains a victim for life. So to a better, she did not get, get, get the courage and she did not marry this person. Mm -hmm. She would have had her freedom. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe seek fees elsewhere mm -hmm. or develop yourself. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, this man start taking taking care and the moment she enters that language i feel worked up and i'm saying why do you need to be taken care of mm -hmm. now the following are the three reasons why women talk about being taken care of supported by men mm -hmm. when she herself is fully capable mm -hmm. the first reason is annoying but the most common mm -hmm. they just have i don't know who told women they're supposed to eat men's money they just have this entitlement mm -hmm. when a guy says you're beautiful then he should pay for it he should support for you that beauty. <laughs> he should support you mm -hmm. should give you my hand they say men's money is sweeter they talk about it everywhere here mm -hmm. and they borrow that they borrow that vice and greed and selfishness and it is passed on from generation to generation yes you might have heard some men telling you that before you marry a girl check the baby of the mother you might have had that kind of yeah concept. yeah it's not entirely true sometimes mm -hmm. girls choose part of their own Mm. But what your grandfathers, many of them, that older generation was telling us, you can't ignore what this, what, what kind of uh, heritage mm. this girl is getting. They were saying, check what she believes in, what she was taught. Because many times they don't question what they're taught by their mothers. <laughs> many don't, don't know how to question it. Mm. The same as us men. Mm. You come from a polygamous dad and you, you carry on through life. Mm. We are taking whether that's what the kind of lifestyle you want. Mm -hmm. The way we say it, our father is always a reference point for the man. The mother is always a reference point for the girl. Mm -hmm. Whether she was absent or good or bad, mm -hmm. because of her, this girl will determine a certain direction. Either to follow her or to go the other direction. Mm -hmm. If she was absent, me, I want to be present for my children. Yeah. If she was loving, me, I want to be as loving as my mother. So I want you to know that sometimes this desire to exploit men, use them, take advantage, hide your money, eat his, is so pervasive today. And we have men who are burdened. Mm -hmm. They, you could even be married and she just hides her money to eat yours. She keeps asking for money for everything and she has her own income. Mm -hmm. And she will not chip in. Mm -hmm. Brother, tell brothers not to marry a non-team player. Marry a selfless woman who knows we shall eat what we get both of us. Does not have to come from my pocket for it to be sweet. Mm -hmm. But now I'm saying the first reason these women, although they have their money, they let another guy give money. Is mm -hmm. that notion that they deserve it sort of? Mm -hmm. That a man, that's the work of a man to feed you. That's the work of a man to take care of you. So they see it they so they see it as love as proof that you care mm -hmm. the second reason why they want to be supported is 
as, as demonstration that you are, you are husband material. There are girls who think, the ladies who think for you to prove that you are husband material, you have to play husband for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but during dating, you take over her life <laughs> to prove <laughs> how capable you are. That's what they call dating. And among girls, you hear them. Uh, I don't know that you've gone to these barber shops where the other side there's a salon. Yes. So there are women there. Uh -huh. And then he, us here, we are men. Uh -huh. <laughs> and where men are is usually radios. Yes. Where the women are is usually the women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's music, the other side. So, so, so there's a time I could hear them talk about, you know, me, a guy doesn't give me this, I give him that, doesn't qualify me, doesn't give me, doesn't do this by me, this, no, the life he gives me, how shall I know that he can give me a good life if he does not? Ta, 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 ta. Uh -huh. So there's that belief that mm -hmm. dating for them involves um, a, a period of internship where you play an acting husband to demonstrate w what you're inviting her for mm -hmm. and to buy those things you intend to buy bring those things now pay mm -hmm. now give mm -hmm. me the life now mm -hmm. for me so the second reason is a women's idea of dating mm -hmm. that's why they say i gave him a chance they usually mean i enrolled him temporarily mm -hmm. to see how he'll perform yeah <laughs> So I inviting him to my life. <laughs> I gave him the role to play. <laughs> so the second problem is that they don't see dating as a period of strings free friendship to learn the character. <laughs> <laughs> they see it as a period of uh, exclusivity for you to demonstrate how you are capable. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. And why do they believe that way? Because again for them marriage is about being given. Given. Mm. Given. Mm. Given. Mm -hmm. Given. They don't know that the moment I'm giving you money, you're also playing wife. While well, I'm playing husband, you're playing wife. Mm -hmm. So that period I'm playing husband, you're also playing wife. Mm -hmm. They're having sex. That many ladies also become single mother of two or three children because of this mode of dating. Mm -hmm. Because, as I said, many after they get the first child, they don't reform their life. Mm. So do, do some women equate uh, provision to love? Exactly. They think w how you give her this class of life mm -hmm. is how you love her. And how you finance her life, how much you love how much her. You love her. And as I told you, many of them borrowed the notion from how they grew or what they can see. Sometimes it's a generational thing. It's not even from their mothers. Mm -hmm. Just a generation. The company she keeps. Brother, before you marry a woman, remind these guys to check. The company she keeps, that's why she, she's borrowing ideas. True to us. Mm -hmm. I get my ideas from the guys I talk frequently. Isn't that basic? Mm -hmm. My notions and beliefs about life mm -hmm. are informed by the people I talk to every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it's Ralph Waldo Emerson who said, a lot, of people, a lot of people don't seem to realize that their opinions of the world is an explanation of their own character. Ah. <laughs> their nice. opinions about men explains how she is as a woman. Mm -hmm. Your opinion about women mm -hmm. <laughs> explains how you are as a man. Yes. The glass you view the world with mm -hmm. tells us, you where you live you see everything blue you are full of blue see everything bad you're full of bad so is to say sometimes she allows this kind of dry run she end up getting emotionally entangled financially entangled socially you get reputation that you already taken mm -hmm. they don't they, they usually don't count the cost because of greed and selfishness mm -hmm. and naivety the right way to date is not to give a chance in terms of them now playing your man mm -hmm. it's to learn on friendship basis Pay your bills. Mm. Come ready to pay even the bills. Come ready to do wait, everything. Wait a minute. Are you saying that I am dating this girl <coughs> and she comes over and uh, I say, I am paying my bill, pay your bill? As a lady, you should be ready to pay everything you eat. Eh? Mm. Some people want to pay what you eat, and then they eat you. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to be ready for defense. <laughs> Make sure. Eh. Make sure uh -huh. you are able to pay what you eat. Yes. Don't look stranded because the guy picked her phone and disappeared. And that's a good advice. Make so sure. when you go to a hotel, we are not saying you will not insist to pay. Kindly order what <laughs> you can pay. Yes. Because we have weird men who invite you to. One of them was complaining why at cafe is selling tea at three hundred shillings, <laughs> and that's their standard. <laughs> At cafe, there can be at another hotel there. Tea is 40 shillings. Yes. At cafe, just across, and it is 290 shillings. shillings. And that guy started making noise, complaining, and, and the menu had been brought. Yeah. But he did not bother to go through. Yes. Sometimes they wrote the menu down to help you do your mathematics and your budget. Yeah. 
<laughs> and you you were just there. You, know? you want to prove a you point. You prove a point. Yeah. Because when when you're a bachelor, a thousand can be a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Can be a lot of money. Yes. When you, some guys survive on a thousand for a whole week or even two weeks mm -hmm. when they're bachelors. Yeah. They walk some distance. They, they, some, sometimes people wake up early to take advantage of the low price. It's not that he's an early riser, really. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. it's because they of the economy. What? Yes. <laughs> That's why Matt is 20 bob. <laughs> Imagine the same distance of 80 shillings yes. can be 30 or 20. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so as a, you as a guys think that you are very hard working. <laughs> so, a, when I counted the cost of waking up early, mm -hmm. I, I, I signed up for Ali Club. <laughs> Shorter time, less <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah. So, as a lady, be ready to pay, but don't insist to pay. That's a balance. Mm -hmm. That's a balance. Yes. The man is supposed to be 3P mm -hmm. provider. Protector and the priest. Provider, protector, protector and a priest. priest. So if these three misses, what happens? He's, even if one misses, <laughs> don't come in. <laughs> so he how he proves providing is not taking over your bills. Mm -hmm. It's not a, it's not playing husband mm -hmm. for one year. It's not providing for your kid paying fees. Mm -hmm. It's no. It's generosity and gifts of love. Gifts of love are spontaneous and circumstance oriented. Mm -hmm. They're not monthly bills. Mm -hmm. Like a meal. Yeah. <laughs> like a gift or a flower. Mm -hmm. Before we marry, how I show my generosity is through gifts of love. And gifts of love are occasioned, are occasioned by how we're interacting, what it is, maybe you're the birthday. It's not your bills. Mm -hmm. It's not your responsibilities. Yeah. Let's emphasize that. Mm -hmm. You shall learn whether a man is stingy or a giver by how he gives you gifts of love from where he is economically, from his economic standards, mm -hmm. from his finances and from circumstances. Mm -hmm. He can't claim to love you and he knows you have a birthday and he behaves like it's nothing. Mm -hmm. That's how he will behave even after getting you. When I want a woman, I'm looking for every occasion mm -hmm. to give. Maybe some men will say that I am not doing well financially. Give what you can. If you are totally stuck, don't date. Go fix that crisis first before you come <laughs> to the dating market. They should not date. The time you come to the dating market, you'll be able at least to carry another, yourself and another. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't lift your own weight. Eh. And again, don't borrow the woman you are dating money. To very important. Don't borrow the woman you are dating money. Borrow from your boyfriends, your, your sisters. Mm -hmm. Borrow from the world that was existing. Mm -hmm. The one you are trying to win, you are being trying to be a leader to her. She will only give you money you play as a team after you get married. Before you get married, demonstrate how you can manage your life and your crisis. So when you enter crisis and tell her, send me 3,000. Then send me 4,000. No. And, 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 and there's like my brother up and guy, guys were saying, ah, no, but sometimes even me, I help her. But sometimes, but sometimes... It's this prolonged relationship that you're playing husband wife mm -hmm. that end up confusing you financially. Mm -hmm. If you're only learning on friendship basis, there's no place for asking me for money. Money changes dynamics mm -hmm. because for me to have to ask to remind you to return my money, it destroys the connection, mm -hmm. destroys the chemistry. In fact, mm -hmm. main relationship died because of that. I can't pay you your money, so I don't want to call you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see your text yeah. because I think you're reminding me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. You know, when guys lend you money, every communication you think is a reminder. Mm -hmm. Because they lend you some money. Mm -hmm. Every time they contact you, they're saying hello. You think yeah. at the back of their mind, mm -hmm. they're trying to remind you that you have their money. Yes. Money destroys the connection. When I have to give you money, I don't lend you as a loan. I just give you for free. Mm -hmm. When I realize you have a situation, mm -hmm. I tell you, oh, I hear that you're going for a checkup. Throw that in there, no problem. It's there, not a loan. There, there's something you've said there. Yes. About uh, borrowing from other people. Yes. Are, are you saying that we should borrow to come and make these girls happy? No, you, uh, don't go into debt again. Go to, go to your standards. Mm -hmm. You will stretch. Dating mm -hmm. requires an investment. All investments, all projects require stretch. Mm -hmm. Underline that. Mm -hmm. You will never achieve anything relaxed. Mm -hmm. All achievements require stretch. Buying a plot. You told me you deal with real estate. Yes. How many times do guys have to deal with mortgage loans? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you have done something major, it cleans you up financially. Mm -hmm. You have actually to recover for a few months. Yeah. Yes. When Jesus found Simon Peter, they were mending their nets. Why? They've been catching fish. Mm -hmm. When you catch fish, they tear down the net. When you catch a project, it tears down the net. When you do anything, it takes away from you. Dating will take away from you. Be prepared to spend. Be prepared to spend. Yes. The movement, the communication, the generosity. Mm -hmm. As a man, you must have a budget. Mm -hmm. You can't achieve a big deal. Relax. Me, I don't want to spend it on my. Let me see how real she is. If you don't put creativity <laughs> investment, I'm not saying you break your bank or go take loans, no. Mm -hmm. Calculate and balance the math to create yes. an impression. This is an interview. You must win. Mm -hmm. You must win. Mm -hmm. I can't take her to a very fast, fast 
thing that is so noisy like beehive when we can't talk. Mm -hmm. I mean, a serene place. Most serene places are not that cheap. Yeah. It's not 50 shillings, mm -hmm. maybe 250. Yeah. But then I just know a cup and a cup, it will sort us. Yes. She does not come here starving. Mm -hmm. Women don't come for a date hungry. <laughs> don't start by saying, oh my God, and I'm so hungry. Start bring, coming with your friends. Bring that menu. No, that thing of bringing friends is just such a childish. I expect it only among college girls because they date for food. There are people date for food. They are so gluttonous. They that they food. spend a whole day going for a meal. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Eat at home. Uh -huh. Come almost full capacity. Mm -hmm. So that even a drink, a light thing. Mm -hmm. So that nobody is stressed. Yes. If he insists on buying meal, that's okay. Mm. It could be it has coincided the lunch time. Mm. I'm taking a meal. Please, please take a meal. Mm. <laughs> if I insist, it's okay. Mm. But, yes. but there are some other guys yes. that would wear masks. And so when you're dating, they are not themselves. And so they are doing things just to please you. You the moment you enter into that box. No, it's yeah. it's it, you, you you need discernment to peer through the mask. Mm -hmm. You need discernment to know when it is real. Real things are balanced mm. and they expect something back mm -hmm. when somebody is performing and you say no they get angry because they went out of their way to act mm -hmm. when a person is genuinely being themselves you know when you say no they respect it because even they they have said you know in other cases mm -hmm. are we together mm -hmm. so the discernment to design to tell whether they are faking or that's who they are comes from how well they can allow you to make decisions either way yes or no mm -hmm. without forcing it mm -hmm. and they don't feel entitled so i bought you this now you're not talking to me so i gave you this now you're not talking to me no mm -hmm. you need to see freedom for them to come right or come left in a calm manner mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. so i was telling you um the second reason women get into this entanglement because they want you to play husband for me for a period of time the third reason is because i, I don't know who told women that they, they bought they got this concept from somewhere mm -hmm. uh, even when they're working they're earning the money even when they are it's like they think that to invest and i've seen it you find a woman has been working for 10 years she does not have a land does not have even a car or does not move forward does not it's like she's waiting for to invest in development some of them think if they buy a house mm -hmm. they have declared that they want to be single mm -hmm. they think if they buy a car they will scare women mm -hmm. so the third reason is because they don't view their income is deep for development. Okay. They view it only for sustenance mm -hmm. or doing nails or doing small things. Mm -hmm. They don't think they're supposed mm -hmm. to do milestones of life. Mm -hmm. So if a guy comes offering to buy land, she's very happy now, this is a man. Mm -hmm. If he comes offering to buy a car, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. honestly, I've met girls who don't picture in, your head, in their head to buy a car, build a house. The guy will bring that. They were brought up by mothers who talked about that woman has good clothes because her husband is a lawyer. That woman is driving because her husband is an engineer. Mm -hmm. This woman is uh, this kind of thing because her husband, because her So it was planted implicitly by implication that your status in life will come from a man. Mm -hmm. So she does not think mm -hmm. she's supposed to plan and stretch and create a status, a standard. You saw that woman worked a small job. Mm -hmm. Not because they have a passion for tailoring, mm -hmm. but they just do the tailoring on a scale for sustenance only. Yeah. She doesn't imagine to expand, a have a shop, coming. have a th 20 years just mm -hmm. repairing and no expansion. The cost of living goes up. She gets more customers. She gets more trust. She can't even hire a second person. She can't buy another sewing machine. Mm -hmm. 20 years, the same scale. You're wondering why? In her mind. Her income is only supposed for those small things. That should be, why these men never buy us cars? Why never buy us good houses? Mm -hmm. Why never take us abroad? Why don't send me to Dubai? Mm -hmm. A wise woman will not be planning to wait for another person to jack her to the next status of life. Mm -hmm. She'll be in the progress of uh, Proverbs that one. I don't know why they only pick a few elements of Proverbs that one. Mm -hmm. The chapter itself says that woman has merchant ships at sea. Yes. She considers land and buys it. Mm -hmm. She wakes up early. Mm -hmm. She has things, she has an empire going on. Mm -hmm. Husband is respected because of how she is corporately relevant. Mm -hmm. Corporately relevant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's relevant in the market mm -hmm. and relevant at home. Mm -hmm. She balances mm -hmm. both. I don't mm -hmm. know where they get this concept of stay home is what the Bible recommends. Uh -huh. The Bible has no place is recommending stay home. No. This woman has businesses going on. Mm -hmm. And we said when you have to when you have when when, when you have to stay home because you, have, you are babysitting, that's okay. That's mm -hmm. a part of our teamwork. Mm -hmm. But babies grow and go. Yeah. Now you have time to also now go out there and catch up in the world. Mm -hmm. We have done a whole show about why you need to go out there. Mm -hmm. how to maintain your love you need mm -hmm. to be relevant to the current trend of life if you remain housewife staying at home mm -hmm. you you become stale mm -hmm. you lose exposure yeah you lose momentum mm -hmm. so the three reasons uh, those have enumerated that 
Many times it comes from a misperception. Mm. The man's money is sweeter. Mm. It is, he should eat his. Mm. The next thing is dating for her is getting into an exclusive relationship. Mm. You don't date by getting into exclusive relationships. You date by interacting on friendly basis to learn the person and detach without the need for breakup and expensive blowout. Mm. And that <coughs> development is your responsibility. Your While the man is coming, plan on the car, mm -hmm. plan on the house, plan on the plot, mm -hmm. so that nobody can tease you with a car, mm -hmm. tease you with a plot. Mm -hmm. And then you say, yeah, this guy loves me, you know, he is already purchasing me a car. He's purchasing you a car and purchasing you too. Mm -hmm. Remember he said, whoever pays the rent has also rented the residence. Uh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> if he pays rent, he has rented you as well. Yes. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. pay your own bills so that you can interview men objectively with no strings attached mm -hmm. see that you like him mm -hmm. you don't like him move on mm -hmm. he can't come claiming anything from you because he, he you did not borrow yeah. he did not take care of you mm -hmm. you can actually date celibate mm -hmm. date with no sex so mm -hmm. that you can see things objectively mm -hmm. yes could it be some of these women <coughs> they are looking for these men to come and uh, support them because there's a certain lifestyle they are living and they can't afford to sponsor themselves. That's very true. Many girls want to prove even what how they do their eyelashes. Mm -hmm. It's more than their salary. Mm -hmm. The way they do their nails. Mm -hmm. So they have this walking, and, 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 and you see clips of nightclubs. Girls just sit there. They don't have beer. They don't have anything. They just came to hunt. Mm -hmm. They're on a hunting mission for a person to give them. You know. Mm -hmm. That's how they came up with ways of dragging men to take away them. They, be, they end up. Going all the way because the love of money is the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. And for pursuit of it, many have pierced themselves through with the many sorrows. Mm -hmm. They pierce themselves through with the many sorrows because they set a standard they don't want. And you know why? They, 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 <coughs> they, 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 it's because they are impatient with slow growth. Mm -hmm. You want a girl who has high class, but she's also patient with the process. That is a combination of her wife material. Mm -hmm. She has standards. Mm -hmm. She wants to live as a queen. Mm -hmm. She would like to travel the world, drive the fine cars, wear the good clothes, have the good house. But she's patient for now. Mm -hmm. to eat what we're eating, live where we have to, <laughs> walk sometimes, use my tattoos. Mm -hmm. While she's aiming there, mm -hmm. she's patient with the process until you get there. So those girls only aim high, but they're impatient with the process of getting there. They want the ripe fruit. Mm -hmm. That's where the sponsor culture came. The guy to give you the life directly, mm -hmm. without you growing to get there. Remember, when you, when you cannot earn money, you don't even know how to manage it. Mm -hmm. If I give you a million and you've never handled a million, it's likely to blow you away. You'll be crazy. When you know how to earn money, you know how to live with it without getting excited. Mm -hmm. There's some people, once they have money, they can't go to work. But if you've worked for the money and you've grown with it, you still go to work knowing you have to earn this money and you will not bring it up. Mm -hmm. So it's to say, sometimes these girls have been deceived, became impatient. Mm -hmm. So they want a person to give them money mm -hmm. to show off, go to some hotels, wear some clothes, show off some flashy, a phone, clothes, TikTok, this, the other, when they don't have, they are not there yet economically. So be patient and progress slowly. It's painful. Mm -hmm. Patience is not inborn. Mm -hmm. You learn it. Mm -hmm. A funny verse that says our Lord learned humility through the things he suffered. That mm -hmm. looks funny because <laughs> he suffered, learned humility. Why? He is the author and finisher of our faith. Yeah. He was God himself, mm -hmm. but he was, he, he subjected himself to our process to show us you learn. Mm -hmm. through suffering endure the patience the, the the pain of waiting and slow progress and learning and acquiring milestone at a time so people are trying to run away from that painful process but it's the only way mm -hmm. for sure again wow yes as we wind up yes let's talk about this issue of um your your money is my money my money yeah is my money i know <laughs> so they say what i earn belongs to all of us mm -hmm. me as a man yes you know, your money is our money, but mine is mine. That's mm -hmm. what they're trying to say. Mm -hmm. That's greedy, that's selfishness. Mm -hmm. And the solution is to say, I marry you and you bring all of you to the table. I told people the balance the other day that even when my wife is earning, I'm still the front line. I'm still the front line in the projects. Mm -hmm. I'm still the front line with the three things I want to provide for my family. This mm -hmm. is not a law, but I've recommended it. Because mm -hmm. for me, I found it works. Mm -hmm. Earn your authority as a husband by providing a home for your family. By providing so shelter, food, clothing, take the basic needs mm -hmm. and provide them for your family. Yes, it gives you a continuous authority. My wife may wear many clothes, some I don't even know where they are sold, I don't mm -hmm. even know how they are bought. Mm -hmm. But what if I assigned a particular budget after every two months or so for her to buy clothes? Mm -hmm. 
she will purchase one she likes. Mm. Some men know how to buy clothes for ladies. Me, I don't. I'm still trying to learn it. Yeah, yeah. Because I can't estimate that person wearing this size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I carry tape. I try to measure. I don't have to buy it practically. Mm -hmm. If I provide for it, mm -hmm. if I do her hair, mm -hmm. if I do the dressing, if I do the housing, if I do the food, I'm doing the shopping for the house, and I'm the one doing the majority, sometimes you can also add here and there. Mm -hmm. It gives me authority, mm -hmm. leadership, mm -hmm. respect. Mm -hmm. But... Because she's, she's also working. You see her chipping in in the project. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we plan. She says, I can get this amount. The project family or fees or whatever. We are team playing. People ask me how to manage. I said, you shall manage money according to where you are in life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's business. Sometimes it's salary. Mm -hmm. Decide what works. As long as your heart are together, the method doesn't matter, surely. Yeah. You can easily take the bills mm -hmm. at ho in the house. I pay the fees. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the construction. You buy the food for this. So how we manage is not a fixed law. Mm -hmm. It's the attitude attitude the, that she says my money is also part of what we're doing mm -hmm. i don't have to monitor it for you even if you're working for our family company and your salary is passing through me sometimes if you're united enough you can build a family empire mm -hmm. and she's being being paid like other workers mm -hmm. from our company yeah or she may be the main worker mm -hmm. the both of you mm -hmm. and she's allocated salary mm -hmm. don't go say so now your your salary was hundred thousand but what do you need surely mm -hmm. I, can, you, I can give you only five thousand then you're going to the project <laughs> don't do that yes. give it to her mm -hmm. So that she can feel the warmth of her sweat, mm -hmm. how she worked for. Mm -hmm. Then she can give you from her heart what she wanted to give. Mm -hmm. Then, so we are saying, marry a woman who says, I'm coming as a team, we're going to build it together. Mm -hmm. I can't let you suffer, struggle when I have this. But again, me as a man, I don't want to micromanage and dictate your money. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so the question is, yes, to the ladies out there, is your money married? Because at times mm -hmm. we get married, and, and, and you know, I, I was discussing somewhere with some people and yes. I was asking some women, I mean, if you can trust me with your body, what is money that you can trust me with your money? You're right. So is your money married? If your money is not married, you need to do some calculations and think, how are we going to continue living together? I mean, we are now married, we have come together, and so we are putting all our resources together and so if you find yourself there are some you know there, there's this they will call uh some money for bad nights <laughs> you're right women they will call it emergency of sorts i know <laughs> yes so I, I will not i will hide because maybe something bad can happen to my husband maybe my husband can lose job and so as you're doing this you're attracting some negativity because even do I say devil or who? He can see there is something you're trying to hide because of something bad. If something bad happens in this marriage. Mm. Wow. All Thank right. you so much. Most welcome. Really appreciate it. And we have learned a lot. What is your take home? What have you learned? I mean, this is not a monologue show. So kindly interact with us. Leave a comment there so that we can know what you have learned from this show. Thank you so much. My name is Willie Kinyash. Thank you, sir.